Welcome to It Figures, the TV show and podcast on itfigures.com, part of the Pop Culture Network. Who are you talking to? I'm Scotty Cash. Who are you talking to, Scotty? The camera. Oh my goodness! Who are these people? I'm Scotty Cash. Hi, Scotty. How are you? I'm good. You're. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. You're not. I am not. This is Damien. Mm. Or killing, if you will. You will. He's killing that. Br- br- that that. Mm. Is is the name Damien supposed to be like some sort of secret or something? Because it gets said in every show. Every oh. show, someone says that his name's Damien. Well, his name's not Damien. Oh, I mean, killing. Mm. His dude name is. Mm. I like how we framed this just right. That I've got like two feet of clearance over here, and Scott's cut off right in the middle. You're supposed to scoot over, but you just don't. Why wouldn't you just scoot the camera that way? Because there's no room that way, but there's plenty of room that but way. But there's obviously room. Okay, look. look. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, my God, look, that looks right. The Ice Age. Oh, I said that wrong. Oh, well. Mm. Hey, guys, welcome to the show. We're going to talk about toys and stuff because we are toy people. And, Sponsored uh, by Dr. Right. Pepper Freezy stuff and. Chex Mix. Puppy Chow. Chocolate Chex Mix. For the low. All right, first of all, did you hear about all the BotCon stuff swirling around Hasbro with them saying no third-party toys and uh, people who make their own, like, fan creations, Transformers couldn't sell oh, the show? Oh, are you talking about the thing that you ranted about? Yeah, the thing everybody hated me for? Yeah, the things that... Did you hear about that? No. Okay. Hasbro, basically, they're the, uh, these other companies that say you want to get a sound wave. Right. Like a G1 sound wave. Right. Like the, the, the cassette player. They sculpt their own. They send it to a factory. They make molds, they make the figures, they put the stickers on them, they put them in boxes, and they sell them for like $100, $200 a piece. Mm-hmm. And people have been selling these at conventions and stuff, and at the Transformers convention BotCon, Hasbro said, don't bring any of this stuff, because it's unlicensed. If it shows up, we're going to confiscate it. Okay. And people were freaking out. How can you do that? Who's, You're attacking the little man. Who side are you on? Uh, I think that it's fair for them to say we own the copyright on this. You can't. Absolutely, that's yeah. like pirating a movie. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what that is. Okay. Who side are you on? Well, I'm on their side because they make way better toys than Hasbro does. Yeah, but that's still not. Well, then, well, don't put, don't make it exactly the same. Well, they couldn't make their own original characters, but they're not. Yeah. So anyway, well, this time Hasbro has done something pretty nefarious. Huh? Okay. This guy in Australia runs a Nerf website called Urban Taggers, okay? Just a big fan of Nerf guns. He goes online to, like, Chinese eBay sites and finds these before they're released in the general public and buys them to get them, and he does reviews of them on his website. So he goes on to, like, the Chinese eBay. Hey, dude is hardcore Nerf guy. Yeah. Okay, so he, he buys this stuff, he does the review, he puts up photos, talks about it, whatever, on his website. Well, Hasbro sent him an email... That said, hey, we noticed you review Nerf stuff. Send us your address, and we'll send you these Nerf uh, point scopes things with the laser sights on them, whatever, that you can give away, keep one for yourself, as a promotion for being such a great Nerf fan. And the guy's like, okay, great, love to. Hey, this ain't going good, because that voice, this voice <laughs> is leading me to believe something bad's going to happen. So, so he, he sends him his address and whatever. He gets a cease and desist letter. From their lawyers saying you have photos and information about products not on the market yet. You must remove them, remove the photos, and tell us where you got that information, who's your source, or we are going to sue the pants off you. So then he uh, he's just like, this is stupid, crazy. Like, I don't even understand what's going on, you know, whatever. He goes to work, his real job. He comes home, and there are private detectives snooping around his apartment complex talking to his neighbors... Saying, like, do you know who this guy is? Do you know who he hangs out with? Do you know where he gets some of this stuff? He shows up. They start trying to ask him questions. Secret service, seriously. And he's, no, private detectives. Same thing. Oh. Private detectives. Yeah, secret service. All the stuff going on in the world, and they're worried about dude got some Nerf guns off eBay. So he tries to explain to them, you know, like, I I don't have a source. I can't give give you a source. You know, I'm not, like, a journalist with, with a source I can give to you. But even if I did... I'm protected, you know, there's laws that protect, you know, sources and whatever. And so he gets like more nasty emails from Hasbro. You gotta shut this down, you gotta pull all this stuff down. And he replies with, Okay, all I did was go on auction sites. That's all I do. I go on eBay and I go on it's like Tao Mao or something like that, which is like the Chinese. Oh yeah, eBay. yeah, yeah, Tao Mao. Yeah, Tao yeah, Mao. Tao Mao. You know, and, Tao Mao. And and he just he's he's like, I just buy this stuff. Like this is 
freely available. Anybody in the world can go on and buy this stuff and get it shipped to them. That's all I got it from. He's like, I took down the pictures. I took down the posts. This is where I got it from. I don't know what else I can do to tell you, but... Like, I think you pretty much killed me as being a Nerf fan, and I think I'm pretty much never going to have anything to do with your company again. And Hasbro has just basically said, well, if we see anything else show up on your website before it uh, you know, actually comes out to retail markets, we're going to sue the pants off you. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Don't you think? Wow! So, I guess here's a question. Let's say you're running a website... Okay. You order something off of eBay that's not out yet, you get it, you do a review, and then you get contacted by the toy company, and they say, you have to take down those photos, take down the review, and stop talking about it because it's not out yet. Would you do it? No. You wouldn't take it down? No. He bought it from Lego a... Lego do that to me, and I told him no. He bought, a, he bought it from a website. I mean, how'd they get out in Japan? Did somebody steal them? Well, that's that's what they're speculating, is that oh. someone in, in the... So this is kind of like the Titus in... situation right. with Mattel. Someone in the Chinese factory stole it. Put it on the auction site. He saw it. He's like, oh, this is not yet. He buys it, does the review, and they're saying because it's not commercially out yet, that had to have been stolen. You bought stolen merchandise. So therefore, you know, we're gonna shut you down if you don't remove it. I think I would be I would think I would be more upset if he tried to sell it at like double or triple the price. <laughs> well, but he's just well, yeah, buying but I mean, how much did he pay for well, it? I mean right, he probably, probably paid a lot for he it. He probably paid two hundred dollars for a nerf. And all he did was do a review on it and you know, help out nerf. So I mean would you would you take the review down if they asked you to? No. Okay. Well, okay, so Le I had a similar story because Lego, I bought the We dot already com, heard this story, dude. Lego Vault dot com and the lawyer sent me a letter that said I had to give them my dot com name and I told them no. And then they said, We're gonna see you. I said, Please do and they left me alone. Then they... Now they're sending me tons of... Then they killed his sister and burnt down his house. Now he's an only child. So what would you do? Uh, LegoVault.com doesn't come up with anything. We should just type in LegoVault.com instead of Google it. I did type LegoVault.com. It doesn't come up with anything. Anyway, what would you do? Would you take it down? Do you think... I mean, can they seriously sue the guy for that? Well, I, I don't think there's anything legally they could do... Okay, if they send, if they're to the point where they're sending private detectives, you're like, yeah, okay, it's coming down. I mean, but, I mean, but that's going that, really far. When they're sending well, private yeah, detectives true. to your that's house, true. that's true. I mean, that that's going too far on Hasbro's part. That's true. Hasbro should not have done that. Is that a true story though? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's this is from an Australian. This guy's an Australian blogger. Okay. It's an Australian as soon website. as they, uh, okay, as soon as they showed up at my house, I would take them down. But if they were just like, look, you can't do that. We're going to sue you. I'd go, uh, you know what? Nah, it's not me. <laughs> but, but the, how, I do guess, you, how do you type this? A DX? Oh. I guess. Um, well, being in Australia, I would have said no. If it was here in the U.S. and they were saying Well, in Australia, they might have different rules. They might just be able to shoot you on sight. <laughs> you got I mean, a Nerf gun, pow! <laughs> it is Australia. I don't know they how were, they rule. They were a colony of criminals. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm yeah, saying. So what do you expect? What do you expect? I mean, blimey. Put a shrimp on the Barbie. So what's Hasbro? Has, Crikey. Have they responded to this at all? Not publicly did. No, they came out. Somebody actually, Hasbro came out and said, I wouldn't know. Um, Hasbro's Gibson hung up on this website, Crikey, the uh, Australian newspaper, when we called for comment saying, I'm not allowed to comment. I'm going to have to go. Hmm. And then hung up. Well, did he at least get his guns? No, he, the sites. No, he never got the he never got the the product that they promised for asking for his address. You know, you know what they should have done? <laughs> Say, hey, how about you, you should be, sue them? How about you be a legitimate reviewer? Here, we're send you product. Because because companies don't do that. Well, if there's that worry about how many do people that. are seeing it, then obviously he's a good site. Um, well, I don't think he was worried about people seeing it. I think they're worried about them putting all their hard earned money into something and somebody stealing it. Well, I mean, if it happens, at, I don't know if that's even a theft because if it happens in the Chinese factory where they're made, you order five thousand, you're getting your five thousand. So if they sold extras, that's... no, I'm, I'm sure that's not how it works. Though. No, that's not how that would work. I, I mean, the the factory is definitely out. I, I mean, they've lost money. I mean, they're, they're, that's definitely theft from the factory. Now, whether or not, I, I don't think I I would surrender the item back to them if they said this is stolen and you know here's legal notice that this has been stolen. I'd say fine. Give me my money back. Uh, I, I don't even know about that, because you bought stolen Give property. me my money if back. If cops come to you and they say, hey, those speakers were stolen. Yeah, you go through that all the time. Yeah. Did you buy some DVDs, kill them? Kill so, it's Damien for those So I think it's, track it's, it's one thing to surrender it back. It's another thing when they say take down the review because it's not out yet. I would say no. Because from, from a journalistic standpoint, you would just say, well, this is news. I mean, it's a story. 
And now that you've told me it's stolen and you're sending lawyers, I have two stories now. I have the review and I've got you trying to take down my review. You know, so so for for all of that, like I would leave the pictures up, I would leave the story up, I would not pull any of that content. But if they said we believe it's stolen, you know, here's the official notice, here's the police report, you know, whatever whatever the f- paperwork that they filed for it, then fine. There you go. There's your gun back. I'd have the I'd have the nerf story, then freak it out on my story, and then I'd make up a story about that guy's mom being a hermaphrodite story. <laughs> I have three awesome stories. What if she actually was a hermaphrodite? Scotty would actually call them and probably record them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll call the crap out. I might call them now. <laughs> you have the number? Uh, five. <laughs> I, just, I just tried that. It didn't work. Five. Um, yeah, but I, I almost think that if I was this guy, I'd be opening a second website. That's like um, HasbroHatesYou.com or something like that. Like, that would be my new website. That'd be my new hobby. Is uh, if, look at how terrible and he he is right. if it comes out that they were stolen from the factory and that's the only way they got them, you know, then I totally agree with you that that guy needs to listen. To Surrender yeah, and absolutely, give it back. right? Absolutely, that's no different than you know. Yeah, but how stupid are the lawyers at Hasbro where you can't just go eBay, type it in, and oh, that's where they're getting from obvious source. Like how retarded? Taobao. Taobao. Taobao.com. Taobao. Here, let me let me see if I can find. Uh, see, when you first told the story, I just thought maybe they come out. They came out first, and wherever Taobao is, I understand it's a website. It was just a joke. But wherever he's ordering them from, Japanese, Japan, China, just put Hong type Kong, in we'll, stolen uh, products. <laughs> Everything comes stolen up. Stolen merchandise. Four no, this just comes up killing enterprise. Yeah, look, there oh, it is, right there. On you. There's the gun. There's two of them on right now. Oh, that ain't bad. Four hundred sixteen yen. Which is like how much? That's about, let's see. That's Chinese... Yen. That's yen. 416. So that would be about $500 our money. No. Absolutely. 3 yen is not equal to our dollar. Yes. 3 yen is more than our dollar. I order stuff all the time. From Taobao? Yeah, from Taobao. Left a circle, right a circle. Uh, You can type in USD. So, wait, you would put C-N-Y for Chinese yen. Chinese yen. No, you just put Y-E-N. Or Y-I-N. No, it's 70, 79 U.S. dollars. No. Yes. Yeah, see? So, it's it's four. It's, so, it's... Well, you're getting ripped off. Chinese yuan. Chinese yuan is, is 79.116 U.S. dollars. Oh, so you're getting ripped off if you're... They're charging dollar for dollar. If he paid the four sixteen, then that'd be something. That'd be sixty five U.S. dollars. Sixty five point nine five. Go ahead and continue. See? I told you, man. Come on, man. Go ahead and continue. You don't know. What so doing. anyway, he probably paid about eighty bucks plus shipping to get this gun. That's probably going to retail at thirty. You know, so he pays a little more than double to get it. And then they say, "Well, we think it's stolen. Do you return it? No. Do you? No? no. The only people that can claim that is the police, not them." If they for sure was like, yeah, that's stolen 100% for sure, and that's why we want it back, I'd be like, well, you pay for shipping, you can have it back. That's fair. Or we'll trade. We got. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I mean, oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Well, I would definitely try that first. Well, but I definitely think this is, this is a problem for Hasbro. Like, I don't see any way that Hasbro looks good. I understand the Transformers thing and the third party making your own sound waves and bringing them to the shows. Like, I'm behind Hasbro on that one, but on this one, Hasbro lost, like, all the goodness points, all the karma points they had built up from last time. Yeah, but they don't care. Well, no, they don't care. Cause Plus, who Nerf, cares? Nerf is aimed at little kids anyway. I mean, that... It's not like you just broke the story of the year early. It's a Nerf gun. It's coming out. It's just like the other ones, but this time it shoots 16 darts instead of 14. Woo! Well, I still think that they're just upset about They just want to know where it's coming from. That They're not like, you can't show that yet. I think they're more upset that their product is being stolen. And they care enough to do something about it instead of going, ah, oh, Green Lantern powers. Oh, well, someone's got that if well, you follow me. <laughs> it's clearly all they have to do is realize that these Chinese websites and on eBay is that they're selling the stolen stuff constantly, all the time, from every company. It's not new. It's like a trend now. If they want to stop it, contact these websites and take care of it. All right. Well, anyway, I think that's about all we can talk about with that one. Next story, let's talk about the 
new G.I. Joe figures. Kind of. Kind of. Well, what do you mean kind of? They're just repaints. Well, yeah, they're repaints, but they're... That's some what all Joes are. Pretty kick-ass repaints. Uh, we, let's see, we got a uh, Storm Shadow who's been uh, repainted. Let's see, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. This is a repaint of Storm Shadow to look like to Ginzu. So there oh, you go. There it is. Uh, there's uh, Quinn uh, was a um, character from the Marvel comic. I don't know if they ever made a toy of him before, but apparently he's been repackaged with the head of Helix from the IDW comics. Um, there's a uh, Snake Eyes who's being repackaged in a green I outfit. Did, I like that Snake Eyes. You like the green? Like the jungle kind of look to him? I mean, you're not. he's not going to blend in with any trees anywhere, but no, I like the way it looks. I like that Snake Eyes a lot. Um, you've got that guy, whoever that guy is. The Shipwreck. Shipwreck sporting a different look there. Shipwreck. And of course now the uh, site won't open. Cobra Commander and a Trooper. Yeah, there's Shipwreck. Now we're in a green... Same as the, the jungle uh, snake eyes. So I don't know if there's some sort of jungle theme coming we need to watch out for. Um, but then uh, snake, uh, uh, Cobra Commander and the Cobra Trooper are both getting re-released instead of being in the black gear. They've got that classic blue and gold look to them. I think those look awesome. Yeah. Like, I'm almost positive they've been released before like that. Or maybe it's just mm -hmm. a dark, dark blue. Have they? Yeah. Uh, well, no, this is this is a different sculpt, though. His, his mass is different. Yeah, and then he's got this holster got, with the like, removable It's a gun. blow. Yeah, that's and, like a... And that's this is a little different. Yeah. That's what she said. Whoa! Um, and then um, the grunt, I guess, is different. But the big thing is uh, Quinn and uh, Helix, whoever this is coming out, they're coming with a miniature sound wave. For some reason, if G1, uh, G1 Transformer Soundwave doesn't transform, but it's just this tiny little thing. Yeah, I'd like sue somebody. Fits on the backpack and it's got a, a tape like half ejected out, like a little laser well, beak. Well, that's because that part has been made for the San Diego exclusive coming out. I'd sue you. That's what do you mean? The uh, the Destro and was it Shockwave, San Diego Comic Con exclusive coming out. Will have with that, a bat. that part with a crazy looking bat. It'll have the. Uh, it comes out with a miniature sound wave. Yeah. Oh. So they just. I didn't know that. You sure? Yeah. I saw it at Toy Fair. Oh, do it. But you saw it at Toy Fair. It's one of the accessories that's included with the set. So I, that's probably going to be like what eight dollars, nine dollar figure, whatever. It's well worth it. Yeah, I'd probably buy one just with a little sound wave. Well, absolutely. I'd be like, here, Philip, have a little GI Joe guy. I'm going to take a little sound wave and stick it up on the shelf. I want that little time. And that's why they probably put that in the store. And this, this is, these are supposed to show up where? Those aren't going to show up at regular stores, are they? Uh, apparently, it's being mixed in with the regular wave. See, that says Dollar General, and I don't think that's right. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, someone thinks that these are going to be Dollar General figures, um, but I don't think... Do these have too many accessories? Because usually the... Do we still have those ones sitting over here? Yeah, uh, they also sell full-size Joes at Dollar General. Um, not new, though. All right, but here's the other thing about Dollar General. Dollar General, I don't, have you been to Dollar General in the last like five months? Oh, went yesterday. Yeah, actually, yeah. Actually, yeah I got, did you see the Marvel I got some sprinklers? Did like, you see the Marvel Universe figures that they yeah. have there? All the Marvel Universe like peg warmers, leftovers from stores are now showing up at Dollar General with eight dollar price tags on them. So if you're looking for some of those Wolverine, Captain America, Iron Man, some of those uh, big ones, they still have those. But now it looks like Dollar General, the Marvel Universe, like the three, the three and three quarter inch. Well, now Dollar General is getting their own line with five points of articulation in a simplified package. Uh, right now, the line consists of Spider-Man, <laughs> Captain America, and Iron Man. Well, hold time, time. What? Poopy Captain America, Poopy <laughs> Spider-Man, and Poopy Iron Man. What do you mean poopy? They're they're like this. They're like the old like five points of articulation. They're the old like superpowers. They're the old nineties. Yeah. No, they're worse. There's not even any elbow or knee. That's disappointing because the Marvel they, Universe they, figures superpowers so didn't good. have. Oh no, superpowers! Yes. I was thinking uh, the Secret Wars. Oh, uh, Secret Wars. So they're new Secret Wars toys. They're so only it's like just you've got you got the behind. cut in the in the hip there. You've got the shoulders and you got the neck and that's it. That's all the articulation they have. Thanks Five for taking points. an awesome series of figures and. Dumb I will say that looks awesome like that in the packaging though. And the packaging is much simpler. Uh, it doesn't have the overlays on the bubble. It doesn't have the plastic inserts. Looks like it's being held in by a uh, clear rubber band that's being taped. On the back, so kind of like the cheap Joes that they get there that have no accessories. They hot glue them to the cards. <laughs> <They're not laughs> um, but I mean, the artwork on the package looks the same 
as your regular ones, it's not until you take a closer Who's look. Who's the other realize... two that's going to be on there? Any idea? What do you mean? You said there's going to be a seri- uh, five. No, there are five points of articulation. That's oh, what I said. said there's going to be five figures. One, two, three, four, five. No. Oh, that's lame. So you're going to be really mad if you open them up and you go, oh, what? Now, here's the thing. These at Family Dollar are $6. So it's $6 for the five points of articulation, or you can pay the eight for the regular Marvel Universe figures that show up there with the more articulation and the accessories gonna, and the five that, cards. That, that's going to look okay, though, if you just want to display it. You know what I mean? Well, you know, if that was like a $3 figure, I could totally see buying those and just taking them to work. They're trying to you know, throw them people. on your desk or whatever. They're trying to get people. Bamboozle. Who are not going to pay this, attention? This, mm-hmm. th- I can't believe this is $2. Oh, son of a bee. They got me. Mm-hmm. Topanga. <laughs> Um, Son of a bee. Now, the one thing is, I'm not sure if the uh, shield, I wonder if the shield is attached to Captain America. Like, it's it's like, like hot glue? Yeah, just glued <laughs> onto his arm. You hear that soda pop? Brought to you by Diet Coke. Just for the taste of it! Wow, I ain't heard that forever. Okay, so they, they do Captain America, Spider-Man, and Iron Man. How come there's no Thor? There's no Hulk? Because they want to no... make sure that these are going to sell. And because those three are, are mainstream, and the three you just the other three you're gonna name. Yeah, off. but I would think they would do the ones for the Avengers movie. So for the Avengers movie coming out and be like, boom, here's the Avengers. Yeah. And instead, they just went with random, the most popular Marvel Universe guys. Series. Well, I wouldn't say the random. These three movies are probably the best three Marvel movies. You can't tell me that Thor is better than any of those. It's movies. probably well, yeah, and Thor's like not a mainstream character, so that's probably why. He's very mainstream. He's just not as as mainstream. And there's no Pace Pop Pete. There's no Fing Fang Foom. Ping, ping, There's boom, no Howard the Duck for six bucks. Well, it's not Ping Ping Boom. It's he that <laughs> one. Go ahead. Shatters the skies and destroys worlds. Something like that. <laughs> Something what are like you talking is. about? He That's changed his name. There's, There's a long name. name. Oh, it changed his name. Yeah. I was gonna change my name. No, um, he didn't change his name. It's part of his name. Ping Ping Boom, mm-hmm. destroyer of the worlds. Okay, well here's it's like a this paragraph. Here's here's the better question. Which is worse? That those. Five points of articulation are only two dollars cheaper than the regular ones at Dollar General. Or the guy selling them on eBay currently has twelve bids, fifteen dollars fifty one cents. That's because people don't know what it is yet. You know what it is, and they're going, "Oh my God, it's a variant!" You're bidding on one factory sealed Marvel Universe Captain America plastic action figure. This figure distributed to Family Dollar stores. Oh, what the hell do I know? Features a very low five points of articulation. So. So not only did he tell them exactly what is going on, he told them everything that's going on. So someone's just stupid. I'm but sure it's Brazil. This does come. I gotta from, have that. This comes from a smoke-free home, but as it says on eBay. Worth, so it's worth, I mean, worth more to me. That that's worth the extra ten dollars to order it off of eBay instead like of going to your local smoked on toys. Yeah, for sure. With the bubbles you all. Those out. Bubbles we'll smoke all. on them real quick. I like the ones people taking a bath with them. So I hey, can look, smell their body. If it said smoked home and I got it and it didn't smell like smoke, I would file a claim <laughs> did not match description. If it doesn't smell like smoked salmon yep. on my toy, then Get my money wrong. back from PayPal. It did not if it doesn't smell like a smoked salmon that smoked, then something's wrong. It's got to be fishy cigarette ass smell. Well, you know how they rip you off on PayPal. Oh, it wasn't like described. It does not smell like smoke. He said it was a smoke home. <laughs> it smells brand new. I think <coughs> I'm Let's not get started on PayPal. <laughs> They hate me. All right. Marvel style, uh, Marvel Select style Star Trek figures are apparently in the works. Mm. Uh, Hasbro got the license to do a bunch of Star Trek toys, which was the big news, uh, you know, beginning of this year. But now it looks like Diamond Select, as part of their Marvel Select line, uh, has been shopping around some prototypes of Star Trek figures in that Select style. So those are the big, you know, the big oversized ones that come in the huge. Seven inch. Package seven to eight or nine inches. Yeah, so that's what they're looking at. It reminds me of the Art Asylum. Art Asylum had Star Trek figures around the time Nemesis came out. They did Next Generation and Deep Space Nine and everybody. And then Diamond Bottom, and now they were for Diamond. Yeah. So I'm I'm guessing that they're. Yeah. They're all right. Star Trek's already done. Get over Star Trek. But what about what about the new Kirk? Don't you want the new Kirk? No. I want the old Kirk. (laughs) What? Yeah. Oh, that's right. You like sports. I do love sports. Hey, I found saying. something awesome the other day in one of my tubs. All my Lego sports guys. Remember the basketball guys they made? Those are completely worthless. <laughs> Got them. Completely em. worthless. They are. They're the only figures you can buy under a dollar. Where? On eBay. No one wants them. I got some to you right now. He don't know what he's talking about. High dollar. It's funny because I would always look for minifigures and then for some reason 
No one wants the NBA players, the soccer players. They don't want them. It's because they're not real Lego guys. They're like hips move. <laughs> you you put them on the stand, you pull it back, and then when you let it go, they shoot a basketball. So they're not real. It's catching. I'll sell them to you right now. Mm. Ten bucks a piece. Mm. It's a good deal. All right. Uh, next up, Plastic Galaxy, a new documentary coming about Star Wars toys. <laughs> coming to DVD. Uh, the film w w includes uh, tons of some of the top collections from collectors comprising prototypes, bootlegs, foreign toys, and all manners of surprises, Mic micro documentaries, extended interviews, and of course the main feature, documentary exploring the groundbreaking and breathtaking world of Star Wars toys, interviews with former Kenner employees, experts, authors, and collectors looking, at the, looking at the toys' history, yes. influence, <laughs> and fond, fervent feelings that they elicit today. Yes. yes! Hey, you know what's sad is there's probably like three or four guys that don't know too much about the internet that have triple what those guys have. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How do they not know about the internet if they're collecting toys? What's this new thing called the internet? I don't know. They just go to what yard sales and buy internet? all of the Star Wars ever. Or they're just not privy to like the collector boards. Yeah. Or that one dude in town here who's probably like peeing on himself. I can't wait for this movie! Huh. That's our friend, Pixel Dan. <laughs> no, not Pixel Dan. <laughs> Pixel Dan loves Star Wars, It's dude. the guy who hates Pixel Dan. And says that he's a scalper. Oh. That guy. Oh, fatty, fatty 2 by 4 Because apparently I look like Dave. So, anyway, if you're looking forward to that, look for that this August. Yeah, August on DVD, Plastic Galaxy. Yeah! Uh, speaking of which, there's a new toy-based uh, reality show coming to Sci-Fi this time. Toy Traveler. What's the other one that's on? Toy Hunter. Toy Hunter. This is Toy Traveler. Shane Turgeon, the Indiana Jones of Toy Collectors. Oh, yeah, catch him on YouTube all the time. <laughs> just so jealous right now. Uh, you know who that is? That's the one guy that done the one thing with the what's-the-namer? Mm -hmm. Well, it says whether it's an old toy warehouse in a remote Guatemalan town or a small swap meet in the Ukraine, Shane will go to all lengths to find the most unique and collectible toys. Asinine. Have you ever traveled to Ukraine no, for toys? because I'm not asinine. <laughs> well, you'll have your own TV show. I don't think he does, really does that. The producer set that up. Yeah, yeah. They, they seen him at a yard sale. He's like, how would you like to go to Ukraine? No, I, I don't Ukraine. actually don't want to go at all. Yeah, yeah, come with us. And it's produced by Seth Jarrett and Julie Insogna Jarrett, who I'm guessing are Jeff Jarrett's brother and sister. I'm just I'm going sure. out on there. I don't know if I'm that's sure. accurate or not. I'm sure they but are. But it makes sense, right? It makes sense to me. It makes sense. If you're going to do a show, show about toy traveler, it's got to be... That's how you got that Guatemalan connection. Yeah, Jeff, For show. Jeff Jarrett. For show. In there. Slap and nuts. Karen Engel's old wife. Karen Engel's no, yeah, old wife. So anyway, um, toy travel. Sci I don't get sci-fi. On my package. So, and I'm not uh, going to watch it. Unless so. they show it online, I won't be able to watch it. Do you? Boom, direct TV. Do you watch SmackDown? No. You get SmackDown every Friday. Do I? Who watches that? I think I get sci-fi. I think I have Comcast. Well, I have Comcast, but on my package, I just have the cheap package. So. Uh, no, I think I have the... Because I, I get the hub and all that crap. But I can... I See, I don't get the hub either. See, I probably get sci-fi. So I can watch it online. So I'm for sure not going to watch that. <laughs> you have the channel. And you're not going to watch it. Fair enough. Actually, I'll probably check it out. When is it on? Uh, it just says coming in 2013. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm, I've already made plans that day. <laughs> All of 2013. What All of 2013, dude. All right, this, this one I found kind of funny. Actionfigurepicks.com did an article about Diamond Select Toys bringing back the Battle Beasts. Talking about how the Battle Beasts, the new Battle Beasts, are not related to the old Battle Beast toy line. I'll freak out. <laughs> Wait, and, and they're basically just mini-mates. Now... Listen to this part of the uh, story and see if any of this sounds familiar. Uh, Diamond Select Toys has a license to the name Battle Beast, and that's it. It. Any characters, designs, likenesses, or any other resemblance to the original Takara or Hasbro Battle Beast line are completely off the table when it comes to DST's new Battle Beast. At this year's C2E2 Diamond Select Toys panel, this was made very clear with an almost annoyed tone. That was your question. That's me. That was your question. How come you've gotten away from. Oh, we didn't get away oh, from anything. Fat bald guy, come here, listen. Oh. That's your question that you asked oh. to get the free mini mate. Which, by the way, I gave you the fifty cents for, and you never gave me that mini mate. What fifty cents? Oh, when we did okay. our C two E two podcast show, I'll, I'll bring it back to you and give you back your fifty cents. No, you can keep the fifty cents. I just want that little mini mate. I totally remember you giving me fifty. cents I gave now. you the fifty cents for that. What was it? It's like a Ghostbuster. It has a Ghostbuster something. symbol on yeah, chest. Yeah, it's absolutely yours. Yeah. 
You never gave it to me, you thief. As soon as he gets so, it, I'll feedback. No. So I yeah, so as, as soon as I read that article, this is on actionfigurepicks.com, as soon as I read that, at this year's C2E2, I was like, oh, I was there, in a very almost annoyed tone. That was you! That was me. That was right at you. I didn't know. I had no I just, idea. I just remember mutton chops just being like... <sighs> you mean mullet chops. Oh yeah, mullet chops. My boy so mullet chops. Mullet He's actually chops. pretty cool, except for when he snapped on me about that. <laughs> Other than that, he was great. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for the news section of the show. We're going to take a quick break. And then when we come back, it'll be time to eat break. the rest of the Mud Buddies uh, Chex Mix. And we'll do some fan corner questions. There's like three of them, so it won't be that long. We'll might take us only a half hour to get through. Right back. No, thank you. Hey guys, it's Killen, and I'm here to discuss a new show coming every Monday on the Pop Culture Network. It is the Video Game Lizard Show. Every week we'll discuss the news relating to video games, we're going to talk about some releases, and have a short discussion on whatever random topic we think is relevant that week. It's going to start myself, and of course, I'm not Dirk, so be sure to check us out on bglosers.com, part of the Pop Culture Network. Yay! All righty, everybody. Welcome back to the show. That's assault. Like, yeah. Was, well, if, yeah, exactly. if there's uh, private investigators outside your house, don't it, don't be. I'll right. just shoot them with Nerf guns. No, I'm going to sue the pants off you. <laughs> you. You can take them off right now, buddy. Cease and desist, bro. Yeah. All righty. This is from Chaotix. One, two, three, four, five. Posting in the. It figures fan corner thread on the forums at popculturenetwork.com. Everybody should head over there right now, sign up. Make sure you post yours. Do we only have three questions, seriously? Uh, yeah, but one of them is like 80 parts. So. Yeah, well, there's no pixel there. <coughs> All right, this is from Chaotix12345. Hey, guys. This question is for Dirt and Scotty. For Dirt, if every fictional character and thing that has ever bared the word Tron in their name entered into one big smackdown... Who would you expect to emerge victorious? Alternatively, for Scotty, if every Power Ranger took part in a similar battle, who would you count on to win? Go ahead. I'll think about it. Everything that has ever bared the word Tron. Um, well, it wouldn't be Megatron. Unicron is not Tron, so he doesn't count. Um, so really what it comes down to is really Voltron and Tron. And who's going to win in that battle? Voltron's just bigger than Tron. Uh, but Tron exists in the electronic world, and he could go in and infect the electronics of Voltron and take over, just like Wade did in the Voltron Force cartoon. So therefore, I'm going to say Tron would emerge victorious by taking over Voltron. Super nerd. Okay. And okay. that reminds me, I'm writing a fan fiction this week about Tron versus Voltron. No. Because I just got the idea to do it. No. <laughs> no, if, I mean... <clears throat> If all of the Power Rangers got into, you know, one giant room, in theory, the the Power Rangers get better as they go at first, because that's why they have new Zords or new suits or new this. So in theory, probably the toughest Rangers would be the last Rangers. But I'm going to go with Tommy the Green Ranger anyway. Why? Why do they get stronger every because time? Because it's like, you know, we can't do it. We can't do it. We need these new Battleizers, or we can't beat these guys. We need to do this uh, to an upgrade. So it's like they just keep upgrading and upgrading and upgrading. So it's like, in theory... Okay. All right, here's... I, this is just a random Power Rangers question. And this shows you how much I follow Power Rangers and how long I've been, you know, paying close attention. Okay, okay. Uh, Power right. Rangers, they were on Earth. Mm -hmm. And then something happened and they all had to get on the spaceship and go off into space. Right. And then I didn't watch it for a while and then they were back on Earth. All right, well, it's, it's different. It's like different groups of people. It's not like... So not... everybody didn't leave Earth? Right. Well, why not? I don't know. I didn't ask them. Why? Not everybody can afford a spaceship. 
No, what, the, actually, the episode you seen or the the series you're talking about is uh, they started off a uh, started a new planet off of Earth to see if it could work, and then monsters were like, "We're gonna destroy it." It was actually called Power Rangers in Space. Well, and then there was like SPD. I haven't seen it yet. Which was like in the future in space Power Rangers. I have no idea. Space Police. And then they had the time travel Power Rangers. Time Force, which was just same on Earth. It was just in the future and in the past. I heard that was super good. I loved it. So actually. did they go back and fight like Sherlock Holmes or? Yes, yes, Sherlock <laughs> Holmes. Actually, we just interviewed uh, the guy from that series. Oh, the guy. The Quantum the Ranger, Who? Daniel Southmore. Who's we? Me and my my boy TFG One. Now, okay, what if it was? White Tommy versus Green Tommy. Oh, Who's Green Tommy. Be? Green Tommy's like Jesus. Are Why you, would Green Tommy's like God, and White Tommy's like Jesus? So everybody else is kind of just like Peter and Mary and like the lambs and like the little, you know. Why is Green Tommy better than White Tommy? I don't know, just because he's cool. Why wouldn't White Tommy be cooler? Nope. Why not? Because he's not Sell Green out. Tommy. Sell out. Hmm. Shake up his color. What about all the Zords? What if all the Zords were to face off? Oh, who knows? I, mean, that, I think that one that looks like a giant turtle. And be, he's soft, dude. Or, or, or the pyramid. Turtle or pyramid? That's They're where I'm. Soft. That's where I'm going on one of those. So anyway, <clears throat> all right. We need to continue rocking like lords. By the way, he says. Hmm. This is from Clone like Yoshi. Uh, hey guys, what do you think of the modern Sonic games and characters? Love them. Next question. <laughs> Just like that. Have you played a Sonic game in... No. When's the last Sonic you game? You know, honestly, the last Sonic game I played was probably like Sonic Spinball six months ago for the Sega. I just re-downloaded Sonic 2 on the PS3 and just played it. So, that's technically a new Sonic. But you haven't played... Have you played any of the 360 or PlayStation 3? No. The only one I've played is the one where he turns into the werewolf. Huh? Sonic turns into a werewolf. And my... I, I just Are they still sideways-scrolling games? No, this is like got adventure stuff, uh, like an open environment. Well, I mean, it's got some of that too. You know, there are areas that you run through, and it's just like through his point of view, going really fast. What's so, what Sonic game was that where you ran in the tunnel? Remember where it's like? Oh, it's it would like turn to three D. Yeah, yeah, that was in. Uh, that was awesome because you could be uh, Knuckles in that one. I think. Well, actually, I think about was Sonic and Knuckles, or Knuckles and Tails, or Sonic and Tails. Sonic or Knuckles was the add-on. And there was Sonic Blast. No, I know. Which I know what was that the is. like top. Down angle view. Hey, here, 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 here. Is but, there more Sonics or more Mario's? Because there's a lot of Mario's, but there's also a crap ton of Sonics. But if, I guess if you count like Mario Baseball, Mario well, Soccer, yeah, and, and uh, Mario, Mario Party, teaches typing, Mario Party, uh, Mario Mario's Paint, gonna have a lot more. Mario Paint. I think Mario's gonna have a lot more. Ooh, ooh, and, and, and rumored uh, Super Mario Brothers Four coming out on the uh, handheld. Oh, Super Mario Brothers Four. I heard of new Super Mario Brothers 2. No, they're going to them back and making what if the next title was to come out for Super Mario 4 from like an old school platform. And it's coming out on uh, iPhone. <laughs> it's only coming out. Or Android iPhone. iPhone. <laughs> Android iPhone. It's only coming out for the Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> hey, you know we spent 18 years developing this game and you have to go out and buy an old system for Hey, it. speaking of which, how come they never redid the WWF on the Wii? Like the old No Mercy games that it was always talked about, or was that mean? always just rumors? Remember the old No Mercy games? Yeah, like WrestleMania 2000 and right. No Mercy. They were supposed to do that into in nowadays. Never heard that. Well, yeah, I, absolutely. You could probably Google that. Oh, I'm sure there's like some nine year old kid that was like, "Ah, oh, they're gonna do it because it'll be so awesome. It'll sell a billion of them. They'll make all the money in the world." And then that's nine. how it became Scotty Cash. Because <laughs> I'm nine. You <laughs> <laughs> was back then. Um. I don't know. I think for the most part, I just prefer playing the old. I, I prefer the the 2D side-scrolling fast action ones. Um, I, I like the branching paths on them as opposed to the more modern ones that have more of the exploration and the running around town. And, and the problem with the werewolf one is you are like running around town and the monsters come up and you swipe at them and then you know 15 more of them come out and you're breaking jars trying to find... Uh, keys to open doors and all that kind of stuff, which is like that's any game, you know. What system is that for? Uh, 360 and PS3. Hmm. Might have been on the Wii too. I'm not sure. So I'm not as fond of those games at all because I like the simple gameplay of the originals, and I'd much rather like they they did the new uh, Sonic was Sonic 4 on the PlayStation Network, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, They've been re-releasing the old Please. ones and they're making a new one, so. Anyway, McDonald's bag. Prefer those more. 
Here, here's a question. All right, final question. This is our final question. No, this is a question. Whoever gets it gets this last McDonald's cookie. Well, apparently Batman's gonna get that one because <laughs> someone didn't silent his phone. Nope. They, oh. Batman heard that. He's like, oh, I want. The, I like, know the answer. Like, I want the cookie. <laughs> and I don't remember my question. <laughs> what well, do you want for I dinner? I can already tell you. Okay. I don't want it, so you win. No. What was after Sonic 1? Hey guys, this is my first time asking a question, so here it goes. This is from Sun Adam 9 He says, my question is for Dirt. Huh. What is the first comic book that you bought, and do you still have it? Uh, I don't know and no. Peter Pan, a gold key book. Because um, my mom used to take me out to buy comics when I was like three. We'd go, there was a, uh, a little uh, drugstore right next to my preschool. And they still have fountain cokes. That's an ice cream man. That's and it's one of those so things. Crack coke. It was one of those things where you would order, like, say, a cherry coke, and they would put in the coke, and they'd put in the cherry, and then they'd fill it with the soda water, and serve it to you. How old are you? <laughs> it was an old. It was a soda fountain in the pharmacy. I don't remember any of that. Do you like squirt and, it or something? And then they, you'd say vanilla coke, and they would squirt a vanilla, squirt of the coke flavor, fill it with the soda water. There you go. That's how they used to do sodas. And later on in life, these are the guys that go to jail for offering kids candy on the side of vans outside of schools. But they had a rack of comics. My sister would pick a comic, and I would pick a comic. You slid down your nickel. She usually got like <laughs> Little Archie, and I would get like Flash or Justice League or. And or Betty or Veronica, right? <laughs> Dude, I was I was a Betty. I was more of a Betty. What was it, Moosehead or Jughead or Moosehead. Well, there was Moose. There was Jughead. Ah, <clears throat> oh, see, Archie, I Reggie. Just them. Okay, what? Betty or Veronica? I don't even know. Betty, duh. Betty, the blonde or the brunette? The blonde, all American girl, or the brunette, rich, sophisticated? Oh, rich, girl. rich wins. <laughs> you go for the rich girl. Yeah, and she looks a little naughty. Like you know, she probably gets down. Town. Can you say downtown on here? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can down, you say downtown. Down. He's on fire. Oh, break it. FCC can't understand it when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sh what? what do you say? What do you say? All I hear is claps. All I hear is claps. Down, down. <laughs> I think they're saying Tow Wow. <laughs> it's that eBay site. They're at it again. Something about Shanna Bow Wow. I don't know. What is this song? Sham Wow. Sham Wow. You follow me, camera guy? Watch this, this is Betty and Veronica. They're going at it now! Cleans it up like a sham wild. I slapped a couple of Bettys and got in trouble. That's all I know. <laughs> that new sham wild. I slapped a couple of Bettys together and got in Veronica. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means either. All anyway, right. All right, that's it for the questions on the fan corner. So, Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the show. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want to leave us a voicemail, you can call area code 217-953-4025. If you want to leave us... Uh, uh, emails, you can do Scotty Cash at PopCultureNetwork.com, Killing at PopCultureNetwork.com, Dirt at PopCultureNetwork.com. Don't forget to come to uh, PopCultureNetwork.com, join the forums, you can talk with everybody else. Don't forget to check out It Figures Podcast, you can find back issues of this show, I, I would call them, just like comics, because we were talking about back comics, issues. why not? Uh, you can make sure you check out PopCultureNetwork.com for all the other great stuff that you can find there. Anything else you want to add? No, you're selling oh, micro machines. Yeah, I think that's done? it. You got anything else? You got a, we you got something you want to add? Uh, we're something ready to be done. Done? I guess he's got to go somewhere. You got something to go? I'm going to have to go pee. You got something? Anything? I got no. Nope. I'm good. Downtown. All right, wait. Who's got to pee? I got a bottle. Nope. I got a bathroom in the other room. Hmm. 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 Is there a bathroom? All right, guys. On behalf of the tiny ATAT, uh, -AT, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Man, 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 man. Just the side opens. And handrailings, just to keep you oh, safe. Oh, and there's a guy in there. There's two guys in there.